Today let's take up insertion in a link queue and I'll write the coding for that insertion in a linked queue. In our earlier session we have seen uh, the concept of insertion in a linked queue and the algorithm for insertion in a linked queue. Now let's translate that, that algorithm into a C++ program, right? Uh, this one, insertion in a linked queue. Let's write the program for that. The header files, iostream.h and process.h. This process.h, uh, you should remember this is for the exit function, right? And uh, then I take a structure, call it as node int info and uh, here we have node pointer next let's take it as next right okay now the pointers that we need here uh, the front pointer we need right rear pointer new ptr the save pointer and ptr right okay Okay, now let's write down the prototype for the functions. Node, create new node, and within bracket, we are passing one integer. This is the creation of the new node. Uh, this is the same as we did for uh, linked list and stacks, right? It will take an integer value as information and it will return an address so that is the return type node right now the next one is void insert queue let's say and here you have to pass an address so address obviously it's the address of a node right and then we write the display function uh, here again i'll have to pass the address of the front pointer so that is the node right <coughs> this and then here right okay now we come to the main function void main we can write either int main or void main if you write int main uh, remember that at the end of the main function you should put a return 0 in void main it's not required right so here you write front is equal to rear is equal to null that is the first thing you do and uh, that means the linked queue is now empty, right? I take one integer value int inf and a loop uh, has to be given. So for that we take a, a value here, care ch is equal to y, right? Okay, now we start with the loop for the insertion while choice is equal to equal to y or or choice is equal to equal to y okay now the first node uh, the insertion enter the information for the new node in the queue right and then here you take the uh, input from the user c in inf right once that information is taken from the user the next thing is uh, calling that uh, create new node function so new ptr is the pointer which we took so we write new ptr is equal to create new node and within bracket we pass the inf right okay now this is the new node uh, creation so i will uh, move on to this now node pointer this is the return type right so create new node within bracket int uh, whatever you take value right 
okay now here you make the new node this is ptr is equal to new node this is the creation of the new node right and uh, this is the first node that is created so first node or any new node that is created we have ptr info that is the information part will be equal to num that comes from here that is the inf that was passed from there right this value which was passed from here this becomes uh, num over here so that is put ptr info is equal to num and then we write ptr next is equal to null ptr next is equal to <coughs> null and then this ptr is returned back to the main method from where this function was called right so when we return this ptr from here this ptr gets stored in this new ptr right so new ptr now has the address of the new node that is created now we come to the next line if new ptr is equal to equal to null if new ptr is equal to equal to null means the new node could not be created right if the new node could not be created we will just put an uh, see out statement here new node not created and then you write exit in right end in fine okay here you can exit because uh, after this nothing has to be done right okay now you come to the else part uh, there is no need for the else actually in this case because whatever we are going to do after this is basically the else this thing only here since we are exiting it ends there so now we insert the new node right we go to this insert queue the function prototype that I took for that is void insert queue and node pointer so when you insert a new node in the queue you have to pass the address of the new node right so new node is new ptr so this is basically insert queue new ptr right so now let's write the insert uh, queue function here this is void uh, insert queue and here you will have node pointer and let's say right okay now see in this the algorithm that we did in the last session that we are going to use here if front is equal to equal to null see uh, both ways it can be done uh, you can also write if rear is equal to equal to null or it can be front is equal to equal to null because in the beginning front and rear both are equal to null right so i take here if front is equal to equal to null in that case it means the queue is empty right so if the queue is empty in that case we'll write front is equal to n n is the new ptr that's coming from there right a front is equal to n and rear is equal to n right else in the else part <coughs> We'll write the next of rear that is rear next is equal to n and rear is equal to n that's what we do right uh, I'll once again uh, show the list a small list to you here so that becomes clear this is front this is rear let's say right uh, let's say we are inserting the first node initially this front and rear was equal to null right this is null and this is also null here so now suppose uh, here the new node was created right this is basically uh, the new node it is uh, this n here right so let's have an address for this new node 1976 and uh, here you have some information part for this node and 
this is the new node when the new node is created the next pointer of the new node is null right now you come to the insert queue function node pointer n so this n contains the value 1976 right n contains the value 1976 if front is equal to null in our case front is equal to null so we say front is equal to n rear is also equal to n so now let's do that first front becomes equal to 1976 and rear also becomes equal to 1976 okay that is the only thing that is to be done because uh, we had this condition was true so we won't go to the else part so this is what has happened now right okay now let's say we insert one more node right once this is done uh, we'll go back to the main function and there we will be creating one more node let's say and another node is created let's say a node is created here and this node is a new node now um, so when you create a new node again uh, some information goes into this and this becomes null and there is an address for this node so <clears throat> let's put something like this 5645 is the address now this when you come to this insert queue function front is equal to equal to null basically now when you come to the insert node uh, insert queue function node pointer n this is the new ptr this is the new ptr and from there this address is passed so n will become equal to 5645 right front is not equal to null in this case it has some address so we will come to the else part right now what is rear rear is equal to 1976 right so when i say rear next rear next is basically this place rear next is this one where we have written this null so when we say rear next is equal to <coughs> n it means this becomes equal to 5645 got it rear next is equal to this is what it means the next of uh, 1976 right that becomes equal to 5645 that we have done and rear is equal to n so when we say rear is equal to n this gets modified rear becomes equal to uh, 5645 right now you see the change in the link now 5645 is here so the link is here now and this is pointing to this this link that was there earlier this is not there okay so this is what is done in the insert queue function let's go back to the main method now so we have inserted the node and after inserting the node uh, we want to display it let's say so see out displaying the queue after the insertion and then um, now if you look at the prototype of the display function it is void display and there is a node pointer the address so we have to pass the address of the front node here right okay hmm. now see I'll call the display function and I'll pass uh, the address of front right see out do you want to continue and then see in ch right see in ch that's it And the main function here right now let's look at the display function I'll write it here itself void display here you have again node pointer and let's say and uh, while n, n is uh, not equal to null we'll do see out n the info part of n right
and then let's say I want to put some space in between so that space will come here right and then we say uh, n is equal to n next so it will go to the next node it will print the next node see out end it so this is the display function uh, so whenever you want to display a queue you will always start from the beginning of the queue and go till the next pointer of a particular node is equal to null so that uh, when the next pointer of a node is null that means it is the end of the list right so this is basically a traversal in a, a queue which we have done here right so when we do this since our linked list is like this it will display the information 34 and 56 right so it will be uh, the output will be like this 34 and then a space will come and then 56 will come right so this is how insertion is to be done in a linked list so there are three functions basically create new node insert queue and display right the basic function here uh, to be understood is the insert queue function because you have already seen the create new node in your earlier uh, sessions and uh, insert queue and the display function because in the display function here we pass the address of front so this uh, you need to understand that here you will have to pass the address of front right uh, so that's all in insertion in a linked queue with that I'll come to the end of this session and in insertion in a linked queue next session we will do deletion from a linked queue